Hello friends, this video on NEAT Human Health and Diseases is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. When we think of them, uh, we th there are normally two purposes of drugs that come to our mind. One is drugs cause addiction. Right? So that addictive part of drugs is like the harmful part of drugs. Now when you look at the positive part of it, these drugs are nothing but a lot of them are medicinal, uh, they have medicinal uses. Like we fall ill, we need medicines, we undergo surgery, we need painkillers, right? So these drugs play a critical role in, uh, in the making of medicines and medicines are needed by all of us when we fall ill. Now here we are going to talk about the different types of drugs. Now drugs can broadly be classified into two categories. One is psychotropic drugs. The other one is psychedelic drugs. Now what are psychotropic drugs? Now normally the psychotropic drugs, they affect behavior and mental activity. So psycho, psycho is generally things related to the mental state. Right? So those drugs which affect our mental activity, they affect our behavior, they fall under the category of uh, psychotropic drugs. So these type of drugs are also called mood altering drugs because you know as I said they affect our mental activity. So since the mental activity gets altered so our behavior also gets altered. So sometimes uh, we have we are in a good mood, We are sometimes we are in a bad mood. So that mood altering drugs are psychotropic drugs. Now under psychotropic drugs again you have many different types of drugs like tranquilizers, sedative and hypnotics, opioid, narcotics stimulants so these are the four categories of drugs that we have under psychotropic drugs now the next type is psychedelic drugs so what are psychedelic drugs so these are hallucinogens so hallucinogen means what is hallucinogen so producing so even though you are not uh, sleeping during night time or you are not seeing a dream but it is uh, a dream like state so even though you are awake you still feel as if you are in a dream you feel like dreaming when you are awake so that is hallucinogen so psychedelic drugs are hallucinogens which produce a dreamlike state so they can also change one's behaviors thoughts and feelings in fact there is no actual sensory stimulus but you still feel that something is happening so basically you start imagining things which are not actually happening and you also tend to lose contact with reality so that that's how the effect of these hallucinogens are so under this hallucinogens we again have many different types of drugs like lsd mescaline uh, psilocybin cannabinoids datura and belladonna pcp mdma so these are the various psychedelic drugs that we will be discussing here so basically here we are talking about drugs which play an important role in our uh, mental uh, activity like how our brain functions, how our body behaves. So all of that is controlled by these type of drugs. So let us first talk about the psychotropic drugs. So under psychotropic drugs, the first type that we discussed is tranquilizers. So what are tranquilizers? They are known for decreasing anxiety, decreasing tension. So they decrease tension and give calmness to the mind. So now sometimes, uh, a lot of people might be undergoing uh, a phase of which is full of stress and tension like now the stress or tension can be because of any reason it could be because uh, you know uh, some mishap has taken place in your family it could be because uh, something some incident has happened which has you know kind of left you heartbroken so anything tension can come because of any reason now for a lot of people this tension becomes so um, so high the level of tension becomes so high that they often need to take medicines to get rid of that tension so these tranquilizers help you to reduce tension but at the same time it doesn't induce sleep so they, they are not like sleeping pills they just they, you remain awake but your tension level your anxiety level decreases so that's tranquilizers now tranquilizers again are of two types major and minor tranquilizers so major tranquilizers they are also known as phenothiazins so why are they so called because this is a parent compound 
from which many other drugs are obtained so that's why uh, we often use this term as a synonym to major tranquilizers so these major tranquilizers they reduce aggressiveness and normalizes the behavior of a person it is very effective in diseases like schizophrenia so in schizophrenia what happens uh, a patient loses his or her contact with the reality and starts imagining things which are not happening in reality now sometimes people of generally this dis disorder is seen in people of uh, older age and many a times they start imagining situation which is not at all happening maybe they start imagining something from their past or they start imagining characters or people who are not present there who are no more alive so they, they you know kind of uh, create a virtual world of their own so that schizophrenia so this drug is very effective in schizophrenia because as i said that all these psychotropic drugs all the tranquilizers basically they reduce anxiety and tension and that too when you talk about the major tranquilizers they are more effective in reducing uh, you know ab abnormal behavior or aggressiveness now when it comes to the minor tranquilizers they are also anti anxiety drugs but what they do is their way of action is slightly different now they reduce the anxiety by making a person sleep for a longer period of time now when somebody sleeps for a longer period of time and when someone have gets a sound sleep uh, there is no intermittent awakening so when a very nice sleep happens then the person automatically gets rid of anxiety to a large extent now you would have seen that when you are under tension you are often advised to go and sleep so people often say you go and sleep by the time you wake up you will feel good so that's because when you sleep for a long period of time the level of anxiety automatically reduces so these minor tranquilizers they basically increase the total sleep time and they also reduce intermittent awakening in between sleep so you actually get a sound sleep for a longer period of time now minor tranquilizers are also termed as benzodiazepines now let us move on to the next category of psychotropic drugs which is sedative and hypnotics so what are these so these drugs reduce excitement causing sleepiness so that's how sedative and hypnotics are different from tranquilizers so tranquilizers they reduce the uh, tension but they do not induce sleep they do not make you fall asleep but sedative and hypnotics they make you fall asleep so they so both of these they reduce the excitement basically you say tension or excitement or whatever but in sedative and hypnotics they make you fall asleep so you can see that they are cns depressants what is what is cns central nervous system so when you depress the central nervous system what happens your brain gradually stop, stops working and you and you gradually fall asleep now under sedative and hypnotics again you have two types of drugs one is barbiturates and the second one is benzodiazepines now what are barbiturates so these are derivatives of barbituric acid these these are normally used as general depressants and uh, the central nervous system is very sensitive to these drugs the barbiturates so they are also called the sleeping pills because they induce sleep so that is what i was telling that you should never get confused tranquilizers do not induce sleep they just decrease the anxiety level but the sedatives they induce sleep in fact barbiturates are the sleeping pills which you normally take before going off to bed and within some time within a couple of minutes or within half an hour you fall asleep so that's barbiturates whereas benzodiazepines they are anti anxiety and uh, plus sedative drugs so that is why you you would have seen this name benzodiazepines in both the categories of tranquilizers as well as sedative and hypnotics because it performs both the functions it is anti anxiety drug plus it is a sedative drug so it is like two in one so these are the two categories of psychotropic drugs so far now thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you